Hey everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be showing you another property of logarithms. And that property looks like this. If we have a log rhythm of base n, and inside the argument we have some number a raised to the x power, we can rewrite this by taking this exponent and moving it out front. So log base n of a to the x can be rewritten as x times log base n of a. So really all I did was I took this x and I moved it out front and everything else stayed in the same spot. So this property is really useful when we're trying to solve a problem where our variable is in the exponent. So for example, if we have a variable in the exponent like this, our variable x 2 to the x is equal to 32 we can use this property to solve and find out what x has to be in order for this statement to be true. So we can choose any n for our logarithm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just choose log base e and the only reason I'm choosing log base e is because I have a nice button on my calculator which is ln or the natural log and the natural log is really just log base e. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the natural log of both sides of this equation here. So we have the natural log of 2 to the x, and that's equal to the natural log of 32. And then I'm going to use this property to pull this x out front. So this is equal to x times the natural log of 2. And the right-hand side stays the same. And then what we want to do is we just divide each side by natural log of 2. So this becomes natural log of 32 divided by natural log of 2. And anything divided by itself is 1. So natural log of 2 cancels with natural log of 2, giving us x times 1, or just x. So therefore we have x is equal to the natural log of 32 divided by the natural log of 2. And if you were to plug in natural log of 32 divided by natural log of 2 into your calculator carefully, you would find that it gives you the answer 5. So looking back at our expression we started with here, 2 to the x equals 32. Well, we just said that x equals 5. So this becomes 5. And if you were to type in 2 to the fifth power, into your calculator you would find that the answer is 32. And so 2 to the fifth power once again means 2 multiplied by itself five times so 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 32. So by using this property we were able to figure out what x had to be in this case 5 we, had to, we were able to figure out what x had to be for this statement to be true. So let's do one more example here. This time we're going to do 3 to the x equals 27. And we're going to do, use the same property to find out what x has to be to make this statement true. So once again, we simply take the natural log of both sides. And we could use log of any base if we want, but I like to use the natural log since I have this button on my calculator. And that's equal to the natural log of 27. Uh, you can also use this button on your calculator, LOG, which is simply log base 10. So that's also an option and it will work with this button as well. So now we have the natural log of 3 to the x equals the natural log of 27. And we're going to use this property to move the x out front. So now we have x times the natural log of 3 equals the natural log of 27. And then we divide each side by the natural log of 3, and that gives us x is equal to the natural log of 27 divided by the natural log of 3. And if we were to plug natural log of 27 divided by the natural log of 3 into our calculator carefully, we would find out that the answer is 3. So plugging it back into our expression, we have 3 to the x equals 27, and we found that x equals 3. 
so this is simply 3 to the 3. x equals 3. So 3 multiplied by itself 3 times equals 27. And we were able to solve that 3 had to be our x by using this property. So anyway, thank you for watching today, and uh, stay tuned for more properties of logarithms. I'll be continuing the logarithm series, or check out any of my other videos on my channel, Learn Math Tutorials. So anyway, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and uh, we'll see you next time. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.